Man, you ever buy lipstick and you think, that color is going to look fucking great on me. And you put it on and it doesn't? This is not one of those colors. This color looks awesome. I love this color. <laughs> A fucking lot. A whole lot. This is like my new favorite color ever in the world. It's Unicorn from Shop Missing. And it's fucking amazing. And it was a dollar. And it looks great. Hi and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mascara Cakes. Today I want to talk about shit I don't want. And some shit I kind of do want. So first we're going to do some of the shit that I do not want. First off is the... Oh, the Kylie and Jordan, whoever, collab thing. First of all, I don't want anything Kylie Jenner. Second of all, I don't even know who the other chick is. So, I don't want that. Next is... The, is Well, it's... First of all, let me preface this by saying, fuck tart. I don't ever want anything tart. But these def I definitely don't want this shit. Even more than I don't want anything by tart. So that's why I'm mentioning them. The pineapple palette thing. What the fuck is that shit? It's a big ass metal pineapple with the same boring ass colors they have in every other fucking palette. Like, what, what is that? What the fuck is that shit? I don't want that shit. The second one is that the round palette. I don't remember the name right now. But it's got, like, all the, <laughs> the runes in it or whatever. The weird symbols. Um, Georgia Harris had said something like trying to resurrect the dead. And I'm thinking they're trying to fucking resurrect their company because fuck tart so yeah and then I I saw these lip glosses by Anastasia Beverly Hills and they're minis and I thought it said they were $25 each I was like holy fucking shit who's gonna buy a mini lip gloss for $25 I don't want that shit but then I saw it was a four pack of mini lip glosses for $25, which I still don't want that shit, but still, that's not as bad as $25 each, but I still don't want that shit, <laughs> so no. So Jeffree Star is coming out with a makeup bag. Oh shit, wow. It's a makeup bag that cost $25. I cannot imagine how fucking awesome a makeup bag would have to be for me to spend $25 on it. That seems, it's like shiny and holographic or fucking no. Why is it $25? That's insane for a makeup bag. Like you can get one the same size for like 10 bucks. Like, I get a fucking makeup bag every month with Ipsy. And they're, they're pretty nice. I mean, they're not... Oh, they're just... Why is that a thing? Why is it... Why is it okay to charge $25 for a fucking makeup bag? That's insane. Oh, Colourpop also had a new... Or has a collection, the Back to School collection. That shit seems so boring. Like, the only thing I can see that I'd possibly even like is the mustardy yellow Super Shock Shadow they have in it. Everything else looks... Terrible. Colourpop is also coming out with a whole eyebrow kit thing, and I want it. I want it, and I want to use it. And I want to make my eyebrows look great, because they don't. <laughs> so Huda Beauty is coming out with more of those mini Obsessions palettes. 
And I do, that is some shit that I do want. But, I don't want that shit from Huda. Huda is thieving, racist ass bullshit. So I, if Hush comes out with those, I will totally get them from there. Not from Huda Beauty. Because, fuck them. There are actually some stuff that I do want to pick up. Uh, Wet n Wild has their new Halloween shit coming out. That black blush or whatever it is, zombie shit, looks really fucking cool. And the black highlighter will probably look terrible on me because I'm fucking color pasty, but I want it. It's a black highlighter. Like, come on. It looks really cool. And I, I kind of want a lot of their Halloween stuff because it looks really cool. Oh, I do not, I thought that I wanted the gingerbread palette from Too Faced. I was like, oh shit, finally, a Too Faced eyeshadow palette I kind of want. Because I have not been impressed by anything they've come out with. I'm like, ooh, that was interesting. I'm probably going to buy that. But then I saw the swatches and it, no thanks. I guess to my eyes and my head and my brain, seeing them swatched out like that just looks a lot more shit than seeing it all in the pan. So I don't want that shit either. <gasps> Colourpop is coming out with a Disney Princesses collection. I want it all. The lip glosses, the palette, the highlighter, the lipsticks, the the super shock shadow the 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 princesses all of them I want them in my hands I want that <laughs> I I kind of want to wait to see the swatches of the princess palette but I still think I'm going to get it other I like the reviews of it or the swatches of it cuz it's fucking Disney princesses and yeah so, I want it. <laughs> and there. A Wet n Wild also came out with some new a dewy primer and foundation and a matte primer and foundation. I kind of want to get them or spray. Something like that. I kind of want to get them to see how they are. They sound interesting. Bill is coming out with a trick and treat lip Thing. One's black with orange glitter, one's orange, and I want them both. Totally want that shit. I think that's about it for shit I don't want and some shit I actually do kind of want. Are you looking forward to any new releases or do you like any of the stuff that I mentioned? Are you not looking forward to any of it or what are some of your thoughts? So, thank you for watching.